What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it. And let's jump into it. All right, drivers and dashers got another interesting story here for you. Uh, big shout out to Brian Middleton for sharing this. Listen, guys, I am sure you've heard of this story, but we got to talk about it. I haven't brought it up yet. Delivery driver slams tip baiting, but customers defend the practice. That's disgusting, just so you know that. An Oregon man is trashing tip baiting, whereby cruel customers promise a large gratuity to delivery drivers on online apps only to reduce the amount after their food has been dropped off. Owen Lindstrom, who delivers meals for Uber Eats, took to TikTok earlier this month to blast the stingy schemers in a video that has garnered 4.8 million views. In food delivery apps, the customer has the ability to increase or reduce the tips after drop-off, Lindstrom explained in the clip. Tip baiting is when a customer offers a large tip to get their food faster and then they take it away at the end. While it's good to protect the customer from having a having bad service by holding the tip over your head, it leaves a big opportunity to screw over the driver. Lindstrom admitted that there was no real way to prevent tip baiting and could only advise delivery drivers to operate in areas known for having genuine and generous tippers and take the more generous tidings with a grain of salt. Viewers of the viral video flooded the comments section beneath the clip with many defending tip baiters saying they are entitled to change a tip amount if the service has been subpar. Tipping is not automatic or guaranteed. A tip is a reward for great service, not mediocre or basic, one raged. Thanks for info. Gonna use this trick to get my food faster, another mocked. You brought this on yourselves, a critic remarked. When you ignore deliveries with normal tips, it forced customers to do this just to get their food on time. Another, another said customers were already forced to pay a ridiculous $8 delivery fee on some apps, which encouraged them to subtract a generous tip once their food had been delivered. However, there were some sympathetic TikTokers who came to Lindstrom's defense. I hate that people would do that. I've only ever increased my tip, one said. The practice of tip baiting first, um, first hit headlines in April 2020, when it was revealed that New Yorkers were luring delivery drivers to their homes to deliver groceries and take out with the promise of big tips amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, which I remember. Due to the lockdown, New Yorkers were competing with thousands of other customers to secure deliveries and pledge the gratuities in order to secure service. The nasty New Yorkers would then reduce the tip amount after their food had arrived. So I don't know if you guys remember in 2020 when that was happening, but I sure as hell do. And I remember I said, you know what, this is only going to get worse because now that customers know they can do this and take advantage of the system and work it to their advantage, they what again, what do they care about the driver on the flip side, right? Think about it. Once you have your groceries, once you have your order and you're eating or whatever, you don't care about what the driver uh, you know, it feels like or whatever to take the money away from them. That's what the customers are saying. That's not what I'm saying. Because I know what it's like to be a driver because I am one. So the fact of the matter is this. It's a despicable practice. And you know when they say what goes around comes around? It will. It always does. It may not happen right away, but it always does in one way or you know another. I, I can attest to that. I, I've experienced it many times in my life. But with that being said, I wish there was a way to crack down on this tip baiting. In my opinion, I think that option should be taken away to take away the money or something afterwards. Or Budasan had a suggestion a while back and he said, 
um, that the customer should only be able to take back half the money that they put. So if they gave a $10 tip, they could only get $5 back because then at least that way the driver doesn't get fully screwed over. That's just a suggestion. Drivers, dashers, load up the comments in the chat or the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? We got to talk about it. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below and the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.